What's up, peeps and creeps? Welcome to Bitching and Bassin, YouTube's newest fishing channel. I'm your host, Casey. Not only am I your host, I'm the resident fisherman here. And this channel is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. We're fishing out of the western Pennsylvania area. Um, I actually live in Pittsburgh. We got a decent amount uh, of, of fresh water, some bass in waters. I am going to target largemouth, smallmouth bass. We will, or I will try to catch some other fish along the line, but the main goal is bass, baby, slaunch donkeys, all that good stuff, greenbacks. I heard a new one the other day, ditch pickle. We're going after some ditch pickles. So, um, like I said, this channel is going to be a little bit different. Um, I've only gotten back into fishing for, let's say, a year now. Um, I've learned a whole lot in this past year. I've done really well. Now, I fished a whole bunch when I was younger, but we only use bobbers and we're going for bluegill. We get some bass here. My little brother actually caught like a 22 inch bass on a Barney rod back in like the late nineties at like a little rental on vacation. Like there was a pond out back and he catches a monster on accident. None of us can catch nothing. So, but I was never the most patient fisher. So Bob fishing really Bob, bobber fishing never really suited me that well. I, although we did catch fish on it. Um, went deep sea fishing with my dad a couple times down in uh, the Chesapeake Bay area because uh, we used to vacation in Ocean City a lot. Like I said, that's that was about it. Up until about a year ago, I got heavily back into fishing. Um, it was unexpected, but after I had my first hit, my first bass catch was about two and a half pounds, and uh, it was on a jig, and since then, man, I've been hooked <laughs> on fishing. So... Um, I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. We are in the Bitchin' and Bassin' headquarters, which is uh, Bass Central. We got soft plastic swim baits, uh, soft plastic swim baits, jigs, my favorite chatter baits, spinner baits. I got too much everything. Got a whole lot of top water. Um, we, I still got a whole lot of new stuff. I don't got to, I ain't open yet. I'm going to get that to you. Back to what I said, this channel is going to be a little bit different. Um, now, most of the successful, we'll say, a lot of the successful fishing channels, these guys have been fishing their whole lives, this, that, and the other. They give tips and stuff like that, which I'll do too. I'll give tips to let you guys know what's been really working for me, especially in the first year uh, back bass angling, using a bait caster, finesse fishing, all that. And um, I know if it worked for me, you guys have been fishing out there. It's, these are some go-tos. I mean, I killed it on the drop shot, the chatterbait. Is, was my best big fish bait I had. That's what my PB's on, which is five pounds, four ounces. So that was an awesome catch. Very unexpected catch, too. Last cast of that day, even though I make 100 last class. Ca class. Last cast. Uh, oh, man. But anyways, the way this channel's going to be different, I'm going to need your guys' help with tips and tricks and what am I doing wrong and kind of the situation setups. I, I do pretty well for only being back in a year, guys. And um, that's a lot thanks to YouTube. Um, everybody from the Guggen Squad to um, Scott Martin to Roland Martin, um, SB Fishing. I mean, all of them guys. There's a ton more, too. I learn a lot. I learn, I learn, I learn, I learn a lot. We're going to have a ton of different baits to throw. We're going to try a ton of different techniques. We're going to do whatever it takes to get as many bass on camera for y'all because a fishing channel with no fish is some pretty shitty content and i do not want to give that to you guys so um these first couple videos will probably be the most talking that's done without fishing in the videos um i am in western pa it's february um i haven't been back in the fishing long i'm not an ice fisherman um i do work full time and some overtime so ice fishing without I haven't really gone there and with the safety and just kind of what I need in gear I've spent too much on the bass arsenal so which I probably should get into ice angling because that's a big part of our year up here so it's cold yeah we're not 
like you're down south, boys, which I am very jealous of. I have a kayak. I fish from a kayak a lot of the times when, when I have enough time to get it there, load it up and all that good stuff. Um, so we'll go through the kayak build because I got some sweet new stuff coming from the kayak. Um, a little hint, I do not like to paddle, so we're going to add something so I don't have to do that. Um, we're going to find something to make fishing a whole lot more efficient, and we need to power all that as well. So... I'm going to have to call on some of my connections at the battery store and stuff like that. I know battery store sounds stupid, but it's it's literally a battery store. So hopefully my guy can hook me up so we can run all this juicy stuff we're going to put on my kayak. My kayak. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait till it is time to fish. Um, I know in Florida and Texas right now, you guys are killing the spawn. Um, our fish are still like frozen. Um, our weather is so off kilter. Like, I want to say this year, but it's just it's just Pittsburgh. I mean, people say that everywhere. Nah, come to Pittsburgh, and you'll see what crazy weather is really all about. Mid-January, we had like a 60-degree day, a couple 60 degrees. This weekend's supposed to be warm, and all right, but enough of that. So let's just, come on, winter, get out the way so we can get some fishing done. We've been doing a ton of research, ton of bait acquisition as we'll say that sounds a lot better than instead of throwing all my money away well i'm not throwing it away but i spend every extra dollar on my fishing collection because this is my passion this is what makes me happy i love I'm, i get so excited when i know i get to fish whether it's for an hour or a day and i know i haven't been doing a lot as as long as a lot of you guys but i know i know this is something I'm going to pursue for a long time. I mean, I love fishing. I can't believe I didn't get into it younger. I feel like I feel cheated. Like I had so many good years. Not like I'm not worried about tournaments and all that good stuff. I just I want to catch a big bass. I want to break that PB. Um, I'll get you a couple videos here next to kind of show you some of the new baits I'm excited to try for 2019. We'll go over the baits that really worked for me. And I, I fished like North Park, which is north of Pittsburgh, uh, North Park Lake. It's a highly recreational lake, but there's no motors of any kind allowed on it. So fishing's not too bad. And there's some, actually, as much as you guys want to hate on there, there's some decent bass in there. I was fishing and a, a couple guys fishing near me caught a five pounder, a four pounder. I had a day where I caught five good bass, which isn't bad for that lake. For I mean, it's a pretty public, pretty recreational lake, which a lot of the lakes, the better lakes you would think to be fish are in this area, like Kanya. You, it, it's way too hard to fish Kanya. I mean, at least last time I was up there on a weekend, it's you can barely water ski, let alone fish. It's just such an active lake. Deep Creek Lake in Maryland is one of the favorites. A lot of Pittsburgh people shoot down there. I go down there a lot for work, so that's how I know about it. But um, in the summer and on the weekends, it's there's a boatload <laughs> a boatload of boats but there's tons of people out in the water so but so for north park lake that is not a bad bag like i said having a five one day my first year of fishing but that was a i think it was a drop shot day i put a little swim bait on a drop shot rod and smoked them smoked them but um what else guys um yeah like i'll be fishing lake arthur lake wilhelm Cross Creek out uh, here has could have some donkeys in it. Um, Crooked Creek, we have the Power Dam, Keystone Power Dam. Um, there's some tour lakes. There's Raystown Lake. I think they held a couple tour events. Um, we got good smallmouth fishing. There's a bunch of rip. Well, our city. There's two rivers come into a bigger river, so technically there's three different rivers to fish. I haven't really fished the rivers much, so we'll definitely try to capitalize on that. And there's a whole bunch of fish that swim in the rivers, guys, so I'm definitely going to need your help with some river fishing. Um, we're going to be fishing ponds. I mean, that's where I started. That's where I started losing lures, lures, lures. I love that word so weird. I always lures. Lures. But anyways, huh, that's when I knew that I was hooked up on bassing, um, going to ponds and losing like brand new baits that I literally like just tore out of the package and bought on the way there and still pushing through. I mean, if it was something I didn't care about, I probably would have snapped the rod through it there and left it. Um, would have littered, we'd picked it up later. I'm not a little bug. I'm not a little bug. But anyways, I probably would have snapped the rod, cleaned it up later and left and that would have been it for fishing. So that day, I think I lost like $20, $25, not realizing that there was a, a tree or bush or brush pile and just under the water. And I kept, I, I knew there was fish there. I caught a couple fish off it, but I just, I didn't know what I was doing. So we've come a long way since then. Got to get the hype. So please like, subscribe, tell all your homies, all your friends, tell your wife, 
Um, even if y'all don't watch, just go subscribe and then, hey, maybe later, you know, when you go on YouTube, it'll show you can watch one of my videos, which hopefully we keep pumping out, guys. I, I can't wait to fish. Um, yeah, that's about all I got for you guys right now. Next video, we'll kind of show you what I'm working with, the baits that works for me, and then either in the same video or next video, the new arsenal, what we plan on attacking 2019 with, guys. Till next time, guys. Don't forget, this is Bitchin' and Bassin'. I'm Casey, a.k.a. Tango, a.k.a. Man of Many Nicknames, which I all give myself. I know it's weird, but I don't care. I don't, I literally don't care. So, all right, guys, until next time. No, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. It's one of those moments. All right, guys, peace. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it is Thursday, whatever the date is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I picked a perfect time to start recording. My pizza's done. So, before I get into what I was about to do, let's check on our pizza. Ooh, I don't know what the light's looking like, but you see that. Anybody knows how to cook a cheap pizza? Always put it directly on the racks. That's how you get the crispiness. But anyways, I'm gonna have to take a break. I was gonna tell you what this little recording was about to be about because I forgot to do something in the last video. Well, it's gonna be the same video, but it's pizza time, bitches. I'll be back. Okay, intro video. You guys met me. You know the name of the channel, Bitchin' and Bassin', but I already messed up on my first video. I forgot to give you guys the world headquarters tour. The freaking... Bait cave. I almost said bat cave. I'm not Batman. I've learned so much more since what I learned last year, like since I fished last. So this year should be like a total 180. But last year wasn't bad. I still did pretty good for my first year of fishing. Um, I cranked on them. That's what we say, right? In the fishing room? We cranked on them last year. Uh, I don't know. Bitching and bassing. Tour coming at you like right now. All right, guys. We're finally back. I ate my pizza, I put hot sauce on that pizza, and then I ate that hot sauce pizza because I put hot sauce on everything, on everything. When I get hot wings, I don't get ranch. I want my shit hot. I like hot stuff. So when I make pizza, I put hot sauce on it. So I'm sure you'll see me put hot sauce on a lot of stuff. But anyways, this is a fishing channel. Let's get back to fishing. All right, I promised you after eating pizza, even though I did some other stuff, hung with the wife, of, but you don't know. It could be in five minutes for all you know. So anyways, let's see what the headquarters looks like. We got janky light number one. Um, key to filming, good lighting. Ooh, what do we have on this wall? Okay, now those are my main rods. Those are the bait casties, okay. And then that's kind of just everything else, all right. I got a couple of the rods I started with down there. That rod right there, I practice my flipping indoors. And I can't even do that anymore because my cat thinks it's a game. So every time he hears this, this, that noise. Now watch, you heard that, right? Guess where he's at? Oh, there he is. There he's. He so yeah, got my Walmart spinning rod. It's actually a Shimano under that. Out of all the rods on this wall, this rod right here, this little blade bait on it, that little stimulus probably has the most fish on it just because I used to drop shot off that and all my other finesse stuff wacky rig and they killed it I got some of my nephew's rods I got them for Christmas and just some stuff to fill up the space all right as you can see most of this is loose I mean yeah we got a 13 uh, reel here a ducket rod 13 rod and this is a Revo X reel but everything else is like loose because guys if you're starting out or if you just want a decent rod for the money, at least in my area in Western PA, uh, lose is the way to go. Everyone carries it. The rods have held up great. So until I take them to Florida or somewhere else and we try them out on some big ends, on some old ditch pickles, yeah, I'm going to work that in to a lot. I like the word ditch pickle. Anyways, those are the rods. Plan to add to them. We'll upgrade as we go. Here is the massive wall of bait. Wow, it doesn't look nearly as big on camera, but it means a lot to me, guys. So, this is my wall of baits. We got some tackle boxes and a whole bunch of junk on my little fishing desk. We'll probably get the computer on there to edit down here. Um, 
fishing tackle boxes, bait bucket. Those are my nephew's little tackle boxes. I got them for Christmas. Wife got me that for the room. There's uh, a bunch of empty tackle boxes behind there, and then we got some full ones over here. That's what I kind of started out with, these these other tackle boxes. And guys, I used to, like, half of the year last year, I literally took everything I owned everywhere because I never knew what to tie on, what to throw. It was, it was, it was a learning experience, and I'm glad I had it because now I kind of just fit everything into that book bag. I, I learned my lesson not to really tie on until we get there. So I can kind of adjust accordingly to the water, the water temperature. See? See? I'm learning, y'all. I'm, I'm catching on quick. Catching on real quick. All right, back to the bait wall. Let's see. What do we got here? Um, let's start here at the top. All right, this is my jerkin and crank walls. We got all kinds of stuff. A whole bunch of Strike King there. We got an Ima suspending uh, lip list there. I can't wait to try that. It actually suspends. Got another little red eye shad under there. Ooh, droppage, droppage. Got a scatter lip jerk, KVD jerk. Ooh, lucky craft impulse shad crank square bill. Got some more square bills and some other stuff. Gary Yam Yam. This is a Gary Yam Yam crank. We got a bunch of these dual cranks. They've been on sale lately, and I like these. And that's a sweet color. That's why we got her out front there. Look at that. We got the red. Red's always a killer. Blue gill. But that, look at that. So pretty. We got some sixth, sixth cent stuff here I ordered before Christmas. Jerk baits, can't wait to use those. Big old cranks, can't wait to use those. I actually didn't realize those were that big, but I'm actually glad that they're big now because we're going for some big fish. So right under there, I got all my top water stuff. Not all of it, that's like random on the side. We got top water stuff. We got all kind of ploppers. These have been on sale crazy. We even got the real big one back there in trout. It's a 130, I think. I uh, got some frogs, both same color. We got the Spro Frog, that's a gangster one. Then we got the smaller version of Savage Gear. We got the Ploppin' Frogs, the Tekle and the Booyah version. We'll try those out this year. Got some mouses, some mice mouses, however you want to say it. We got the Wake Diving one, then just like the Hollow Body Frog version. And then I definitely want to catch a fish on this. I had no buzzbait fish, so what did I do? I bought every buzzbait they had out there. Um, drop shot baits here. We got a whole row of uh, brush hogs. Brush hogs is one of my favorite creatures. Caught my first bass on it. These are the Bass Dynasty uh, Dino Paddle, where they have like little paddle tails at each end. Those just came to my field and stream, so we bulked up on those. Got four packs, all different colors. Those will be a wacky rig killer right there. Uh, we got some rando stuff down there, just some new stuff. I really haven't found nowhere to put. Uh, some mini rage craws, and then we got a whole like little Kytex section right here. Um, as you guys can see, Kytex are some of my favorite swim baits and trailers. I don't know in Western PA, they just they love that little squid scent. All right, um, we got swim jigs, whole bunch of swim jigs, and then in the back we got swinging swim jigs. Most of them are uh, Strike King. We got a Picasso one there. We got some little lighter weight finesse style jigs, finesse jigs, uh, mega strike, the lighter jigs right here. Then we got like your regular jigs. I have most of my jigs are already like because that's one of my favorite baits. A lot of them are packed up, but we have some here. Dirty jigs. I've definitely stocked up on my dirty jigs for the year. This is a whole row of spinner baits. As you can see, we got War Eagle, we got the Booyah Tucks and Tails, we got the new Z Man, Strike King. What else? Ooh, and we got some Gary Yamamoto's. I got some heavy Gary Yamamoto's. <laughs> Yamano nose. Gary Yamano nose. Yeah. We got some Gary Yam Yam ones in the back too. We got some pawn spinners. Ooh, my favorite bait. So favorite, they have three rows. We got swing, for, like the switchable hook uh, chatter baits here. The little Freedom Z Man. Little collab. Got a Lunker Hunt one back there. We got Rage Blades, other regular uh, Z-Man Chatters. Then we got the Micros. Like, look at these. These are sweet. We got the Micros, and then we got one that has the bait fish on it. Then we got the Hair Jig Chatter Baits. So, yeah, I love Chatter Baits. Chatter Baits are sweet. All right, we got little um, scrounger heads with the fish heads on them. All a bunch of different colors. I can't wait to try these. I finally, I've been looking for those for the last year. I just found them a couple weeks ago at Field and Stream. They got them in. Those are good on my line. In uh, treble hooks, we got all the other kind of hooks. Um, Nika rig skirts, hook bonnets, 
Tokyo rig, Carolina rigs there. We got weights, swivels, bobber stops there. That's my scale. Ooh, down here, we gotta get into this this year. Throwing some swim baits. That's the Savage Gear Bluegill, live target thread fin shed. Um, and then we just got some weird baits up here. We got a whole bunch of like bargain bin stuff that looks like it'll work. Little swim bait, stuff like that. Gotta have your beetle spin. That's, you know, for my nephews and when we go out for other fish, that's an easy bait to teach someone how to use. We got micro jigs, like eighth ounce, three sixteenths ounce. We got uh, little inline spinners. We got spoons. We got a little minnow spin. Got a spoon just hanging there. These are all my blade baits, a couple musky baits. So yeah, that's for the gist of it. Let's zoom back out of here. Oh, we already zoomed out, but that's the bait wall. We'll get some better video of that, guys. I just wanted to kind of give you the tour of what the headquarters is. Bait bucket, whole thing of spinner baits. Um, this is my jerk baits and uh, lipless cranks. What else? We got terminal tackle in here, all kinds of different stuff. This is one of my favorite boxes. This is strictly a chatterbait box. So between this and those rows, I think I'm good on chatterbaits. All right, we got some flambeau boxes up here. This, they're labeled wrong. This is all my swim jig and jig box. That is my top water box. There's all kind of good stuff in there. And then we got the soft plastic bin. <laughs> Full of all my soft plastics that I used last year. I added some, as you can see. And then we got some loose stuff over here. This is all, I take this with me when I go fishing. It's all my pliers, grippers, dye, little, these things are key to have. If you don't have one of these, gotta get one. Pretty sweet little snipes, snips, snipes, snippies. All right, flashlight, all your necessities. That usually makes it on the kayak or whatever I'm fishing, whether I'm pond fishing or what. And we just got a whole bunch of loose baits. This is a lot of flipping stuff, guys. I wanted to get into flipping, so we got a lot of flipping stuff. Ooh, some not flipping, but those are all goodies down there. So I told you guys, if I if I pass by like a, a tackle shop or something like that, we've got some Guggen baits. Those do work. I have used those. Got the idea board there. A level when I was hanging stuff. Plus, I still got to hang that. Um... Real quick, oh, this orange box, um, I don't know if it was a good idea, but I kind of wanted to know, so I keep, oh, bye, tackle box, but those are all my receipts from the last year of fishing purchases. It's not even all of them, but it's most of them. One day we'll go over that, and I'll probably weep when I find out how much I've spent. And then in here is just rando stuff, repellent, more scents, ooh. We got sticker kits for the kayak, and my old real boxes are down in the bottom. We got waders under there. Ooh, another box that I'm really happy for this year. I didn't get to do too much of, but square bill crank box. And then I got, I, got, I found out, oh, case. Okay, you need more than just square bills. You need some deeper diving base. So these all up here, all the cranks up here, I think like they go to six or better. So all these are kind of deeper running cranks. So, but we want to master this first, but yeah, that was a lot longer than I thought. So this first video might be split into two or might be a long video, but after this guys, we're just going to act like I've been doing this. Um, so you got a little history. This is the new channel. Don't forget bitching and bassing. Please like, please subscribe. I do work full time, but if we get tons of likes, subscribes, all that, I'll start pumping more content out for you guys. Fishing content, not just like regular everyday stuff unless that's what you want but we're gonna try to stick to fishing for the most part and just me being a dumbass i guess because all right guys but that was the tour of the main office the world headquarters of bitchin and bassin don't forget like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one oh yeah um real quick it's 2019 I know I look like Steph Curry. I've known I've looked like Steph Curry for like the last